I was diagnosed with something called endometriosis. It's a quote unquote benign metastatic disease. It's when the cells from the uterus come out and attach itself to other organs and they create lesions, they create um, scar tissue. Essentially your body says, what the heck are these cells, these lesions doing here on these organs? And then inflame. The first symptom that many people talk about is pain. Another symptom is um, infertility. So it's the number one cause of infertility. At the time, I didn't know much about endometriosis. But it's actually considered the number one most overlooked women's health issue in the world. I was very frustrated at the current landscape of diagnostic and the current landscape of the treatments. Over 10% of women have this disease and the only quote unquote effective therapy is surgery. This is preposterous. In my case that was done because we thought I had ovarian cancer. You know, the only treatment options were either hormone therapies, which did not work on me. I was violently ill and I found out that that's a common side effect for women with endometriosis or surgery. In my spare time while I was recovering, I would start reading publications on this. And this is where my biochemistry and my bioinformatics degrees came in. It all seemed to point to a core pathway. Almost serendipitously ran into a gentleman who was the only person in the world to develop therapeutic grade what we called antagonists or molecules that attack that pathway in a safe manner to shut it off and make sure it's not misbehaving. I approached him and I said, and now he's my co-founder, how would you like to formulate this as um, the first non-hormone therapeutic for endo? So that's how my company, Endocyclic Therapeutics, came to, came to fruition. You know, this time, endometriosis attacked the wrong girl. We're fighting back. And something that affects over 10% of our girls and women affects 100% of us. So let's wipe out endometriosis.